Hello everybody and welcome to the third instalment of the incredibly popular Ben Wood Files where we go backstage and get to know the cast of Earl Shakespeare's upcoming production of The Duchess of Malfi. So obviously you can see with me I have uh, the great man himself, Mr John Bell, our esteemed director and um, we are in the middle of Tech Week. So um, The Duchess of Malfi, what drew you to that? Look, I loved this play since I was in high school when I read it uh, then, and I think what appealed to me then was the kind of the gothic horror elements of the story. Uh, it's a real thriller, but also the language is so kind of blunt and uh, terse and modern sounding, and yet with fantastic, grotesque sort of gothic imagery. So that combination really floored me, and uh, I've always wanted to either be in it or direct it or something. But because it's such a big play with a huge cast and uh, quite unwieldy plot, I thought, this is not a goer. We couldn't do this with our resources, and uh, it's not well known enough, you know, box office wise, to be guaranteed success commercially. So when uh, I got this version from Ailsa Piper and Hugh Coleman, which is a, a condensed version um, with just six actors and all the other the smaller parts cut and the subplots cut, just concentrating on these six people, their story. It turns into a sort of a chamber piece and uh, very intense and very claustrophobic, and that's the way to go. The differences between Shakespeare and Webster and the similarities, do you want to have a quick chat about that? Well, you see, there are lots of similarities because they're all working in the same theatre at the same time, and Webster learned a lot from Shakespeare, just as Shakespeare learned something from Marlowe and people who'd gone before him. Um, you know, it's like uh, a lot of TV sitcoms have a similar kind of vibe about them, or TV cop shows. There's a certain genre that yeah. is created and everyone sort of joins in. So, around this time, sort of um, 1600s, uh, Shakespeare was writing King Lear and Macbeth and Othello, and they're pretty gothic horror stories mm -hmm. too. Witches and ghosts and violence and blood and revenge, all that stuff, like Hamlet particularly. Great gothic play, there's Hamlet with the skull, you know, I mean, how gothic can you get? So uh, Webster learned a lot from that, and uh, there are similarities. Uh, Shakespeare's language, I think, is more lyrical and maybe easier to learn, easier to tune into. Uh, Webster's might kind of blunt and terse, but I like that quality too. It, they're, they're different and yet they're, they're similar. And uh, you can see Webster's finding his own feet, finding his own voice. And uh, I think after Shakespeare, he's probably the second greatest playwright of this generation. So we have uh, quite a phenomenal lead actress in this play. Never heard of her. No, I came out of nowhere. Um, uh, just cast her off the screen. Yeah, something, didn't you? Yeah. Just yeah. walking along. So how's it been? Um, this is only what the third or fourth time you and Lucy have worked. Together? Yeah, uh, she's my younger daughter, and we've worked together three times in twenty-one years. So you know, you can't call it nepotism, can you? No, it's absolutely not. And it's been a, a very um, a very warm rehearsal room. Um, has, it, has it kind of felt any different? Than no, you know, no, no, no different. I was a bit apprehensive before we started. I thought, how will we get on the rehearsal room? How, what, you know, what do we call each other? Does she call me Pop or, or Sir? I love she calls me Pop. That's my favourite. So, uh, you know, what, what do I, how, how do I you know, work with her? And I thought, but once we started, there was no problem. It was just like she was one of the team. And I kept forgetting that she was my daughter, you know. Except when it came to the sex scenes, and I thought, mm, maybe, maybe I should go out of the room for this bit. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Um, well, we better get teching, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's time to get on stage and do some magic. Yeah, so thank you for sparing a few thank minutes you, to, uh, to join us on the Bedroom Files. Thanks, guys. I hope that was informative. I, uh, I always learn something every time I'm in John's presence. <laughs> so, He's a flatterer. <laughs> I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you.